Some people in High Point say they're tired of an accused peeper repeatedly getting out of jail. Police arrested 19-year-old Nori Staten over the weekend after they say he exposed himself at a pool. It's his fourth arrest in three months. Good evening, I'm Chad Silver. And I'm Sydney Moore. Staten has already bonded out of jail twice. WFMY News 2's I, Janice McMiller, learned... Oh, Robin Givens look man, bro, man, it's mad. More about why the community says he can't keep getting out. Well, the judge made a point to address the fact that Staten has been arrested multiple times for similar crimes. And in the past, he has bonded out and police say he continues to continues this disturbing <laughs> pattern. But during his court appearance today, the judge raised his bond another twenty five thousand dollars. High Point police say 19 year old Nareed Staten has been spotted at a local YMCA, a coffee shop and even grocery stores exposing himself. He's also accused of groping a woman and peeping over bathroom stalls. He definitely needs help for this or it will continue to happen. <laughs> of course, the glider that comes in wants to help him. <laughs> y'all never fail. Y'all consistent, though. Y'all like us. We're consistent and y'all are consistent. And peeping over bathroom stalls. He definitely needs help for this or it will continue to happen. Police say Staten's offenses date back to May. He's since been banned from nearly 10 places throughout the city. He was he only out of jail a week. Yo, look at all these places he's been banned from. Yo, these are, this is like major places. Target, Waffle House, Harris Teeter, goddamn Starbucks. Yo, where can he go, man? Walgreens. Yo, he better not need no groceries and shit. He better not need no essential items, man, because he's fucked, man. I mean, you know that ban will keep him out of the store. Yeah, of course, man. Uh, he won't just walk in there not giving a fuck and pull his dick and balls out again. No, he, he will. He will honor. He will honor the ban. I'm sure he's got a list in his pocket of things he can't do at those places anymore. Yeah, I'm sure, man. And we gotta write up. We gotta amend that pledge, man. We gotta just tweak it a little bit for yeah. you know, what he's doing. I promise not to pull my <laughs> dick out. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to uh, so he's gotta do the pledge and he's got to do that w runway with the suit on the new suit that yeah we need to get him get him in a suit with a pledge and a backpack full of free shit <laughs> yeah man <laughs> yeah man <laughs> Yeah, man, that's all, man. And then, then our problem will be solved. But. Before he was arrested again Sunday. We either want him staying in jail or get an inpatient facility to keep him off the streets. Robert Martin is the executive director of High Point Community Against Violence. He says he went to Staten's court hearing to do his part to protect innocent people he might come across. We do everything we can to help reduce the violent crime in High Point. And so... That was why we're in court today to oppose any. So this is high point. They have a violence problem too. Bond, he may have been you know, able to get. The judge raised Staten's bond from $50,000 to $75,000. That is a very high bond for a class two misdemeanor. So I think the judges have already taken into consideration, into account the repeat offenses and the fact that he's been charged on multiple occasions. Attorney Jason Keats says the bond is reasonable given the court's job is to balance the scale. The judges have bond guidelines they have to adhere to. Martin says his organization is working with Staten's mother to get him into an inpatient treatment facility. But the mother is happy that he's at least in a secure place and she's afraid that something might happen to him if he does the same thing again. That's why she wants him to get mental health treatment. I think a seasoned trial attorney would probably try to get some kind of therapy involved in it, some kind of um, assessments and, and some kind of medical doctor interventions to make a determination whether there is something going on with this young man. In High Point, I, Tanise McMiller, WFMY. Wow, man. Um. <laughs> that all, all that glider bullshit will have zero effect. Yeah, man. Um. He'd be tired and He'd be burn. waving his dick out in front of his therapist. Oh yeah, definitely. What's that if a, he was in the uh, in a sun country, he'd be he 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 have a tire over him. Yeah, exactly. After they remove that, you know, pesky little problem he's got. Yeah, they cut his wiener off and then.
put a tire around him. Yeah, man. Um, wow. Um, this little town, man. We hey. might have to come back here again, man, because I didn't know that this little town was such a treasure trove, man.